The Brock String is a test designed to treat or to test for visual perceptual problems and the cool thing is it also can help treat some visual perceptual problems. And the reason that matters is because these problems could possibly cause problems like headaches and blurry vision and lots of things like that. So it's really worth your time to see if you have these problems and then see if you can treat them. The main two problems it tests for is convergence and suppression problems. So convergence is when both of your eyes are looking forward at an object that's coming in close or that's closer, so you have to almost cross your eyes. And if you are not converging, then one eye is looking forward and the other eye is coming in. And if, if you're having that problem, then you may be seeing double. Suppression is when your eyes are, uh, they may be converging and you don't have any problem with your actual eyes, but your brain has decided to ignore one of your eyes. And so in that case, you will just see one uh, field of vision. So I'll show you how, it does, how it's done. You put it up to your nose like this and hide your hand from your vision and you want it, it tilted down a little bit. And the way I do it is I put it about 10, the first bead about 10 inches from your nose, second bead about 10 inches from that one, and the third bead about 10 inches from the middle bead. And you look at the middle bead, and you want to see that it is that it's clear and that you only see one. And if that's the case, then look at the far bead, and you want to see that it's clear and that you only see one. If that's the case, you look at the, the near bead, and you want to see that it's clear and that you only see one. So, so far I'm doing good. So I see the near, middle, and far, just fine. So now I want to look at the strings. I'm looking at the near bead, and I want to see that there's two strings and they make an X. And the middle of the X goes through the first bead, which is what I'm seeing. If you don't see an X, if you just see one, bead, one string, then that is an example of suppression, or it could be an example of suppression that you want to work on with this test. You also may see two strings, but the X is not at the bead. It may be uh, behind it or in front of it. And if that's the case, then just keep focusing on the bead and see if you can move the middle of the X to the middle of the bead. Another way you can think of it is if you had, so say that the X is far away from the bead, so pretend there's a little bug on the string and watch that little bug coming in and meeting on the bead and that may help you to move the middle of the X where it's supposed to. So do that for the near bead and then do that for the middle bead. Make sure the X is in the right spot and do it for the far bead. So now that you're seeing all that, let's see if you can, we can challenge your convergence a little bit. So look at the near bead and you want to bring it in and make sure, well you can see my eyes, make sure that you still see one bead. So I'm still seeing one. And let's practice, go back to the middle bead. Everything looks good, but there's one bead and there's the X is in the right spot. Go to the far bead, there's one bead and the X is in the right spot. Go back to the near bead, I see one bead and the X is in the right spot. So everything's good. And you can move it in, but normal, uh, normally most people, even if they don't have any visual perceptual problems, can't see one single bead closer than like an inch, so I don't expect any better than that. And so if you can get an inch or two away from your nose, then you're doing pretty good. And so just the main goals are, if you see one bead, X is in the right spot, and, and then once, you're, once you can do those things, you can challenge yourself in another way, you move the string away from your head, and we'll find the X, so I'm looking at the middle bead, and just turn your head side to side and see if your X stays. And you can also go up and down. And if you can do all those things with no problem, then you probably don't have any convergence or, or uh, suppression problems. If you do uh, have problems with those things, then keep doing this test 
once a day for like five or ten minutes and hopefully you will have some symptoms resolved.